Thank you sincerely to Rick and Mark Armstrong. It's a privilege to be introduced by you. To the Board of Directors and Board of Trustees for your dedication. To Jerry Griffin, it's an honor to share this stage with you. Welcome to all the astronaut scholars, both the new 2021 class and alumni. And another thanks to Fiona Turret, a friend, colleague, and fellow scholar who will do me the honor of accepting this award on my behalf. I sincerely wish that I could be present with you all today. Each scholar event is special and something I've looked forward to every time for over 20 years now. It's also an honor to follow in the footsteps of the astronaut scholars who have received this award in the past, all of whom have incredible passion and achievements that highlight a sincere belief in the power of exploration, innovation, and coming together to tackle big challenges. Many people ask me what it felt like to see the Earth from space. And some people, the really inquisitive, asked me what it felt like to see the moon. I myself thought about that same question before I launched. I didn't know what the moon would look like. Would it seem bigger or smaller, closer or farther, more or less attainable, more or less magical? But what I did know was what I would think about when I saw the moon. Because I figured it would be what I think about even when I look at it from Earth. We've been there. We've been there. It's one of only two things you see from space that you can say that about. Growing up, I knew that too. Somehow, my own dreams to go to space were closer because for every day of my life, when I looked at the moon, I knew we've been there. I knew almost unconsciously that people could come together to do the seemingly impossible. And that knowledge was inside me because of Neil Armstrong and because of the some 400,000 others that worked together to put him on the ladder of the eagle on that day over 52 years ago. They and he knew that what they were doing would alter the course of history. I hope they also knew it would alter the course of individual lives. I had a lot of extra time to really think about that because I had the unexpected fortune of being able to gaze at the moon from space on the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, half a century after the first moment when we had crossed into that new reality of we've been there. What this award means to me is very similar to what it meant to me to be in space on that anniversary. It was reflective and profound. It was a deep gratitude for where my background, circumstances, luck, and hard work had allowed me to be. It was a recommitment to summon my best, to the responsibility to carry people's dreams with us, and to the importance of serving in whatever way we can as a model for future explorers in our work, deeds, and character. It was a sense of connection to the decades of teamwork our space program and the sacrifices of our heroes made plus the individual attributes they had that amplified the successes of their mission. I'll wrap up with more about gratitude. My thanks to the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation. Through the scholarship, I was able to study the things I was passionate about. I was able to visit Kennedy Space Center and to hear the stories of my heroes in their words. The personal connections that the scholarship fostered directly influenced my drive to work hard and stay dedicated to my dreams throughout the years. I humbly accept this award as a testament to my commitment to always give back. My sincerest thanks also to the Purdue Research Foundation, the family of Neil Armstrong, and Neil's friend, Jim Hayes, for partnering with the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation to create this award. By envisioning a standard by which we celebrate contributions, we encourage and inspire greatness in the image of its namesake. I humbly accept this award as a testament to my commitment to fulfill a charge that was offered as a way to honor Neil Armstrong's memory. In your words, I will honor his example of service, accomplishment, and modesty. And anytime I find myself gazing at the moon, whether from Earth 
or if blessed again from space, I promise to wink at the moon and know with all the weight it carries for our ability to come together selflessly to do great things. We've been there. Thank you.